Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our channel once again. If this is the first time of you seeing this channel, this is Dapa with your days. On this channel, we discuss relocation opportunity to Portugal, where we reside, to Austria, and other beautiful European countries where we believe that uh, you are going to have a beautiful and affordable relocation experience. And then if you have been following this channel, you see that uh, most of the information that we've been posting on this channel is or are vocational opportunities to Europe. Yes, vocational opportunities to Europe. And uh, like I said in one of my videos, I am of uh, I am, I am of the opinion that uh, the type of opportunity that you should be looking for to relocate to Europe should be an affordable one, particularly for vocational opportunities, such that by the time you are done with your education, your job and your staying in that country is secured compared to traditional opportunity where you go study BSc, MSc, or PhD, okay? And at the end of the day, you will be looking for job opportunity for you to be able to renew your stay in that country. But with a vocational opportunity, either during your study program or at the end of your study program, either the structure of the school is designed such that they will be able to help you get job or during the middle of your program, you, are, you have already secured a job opportunity. That is the advantage of vocational opportunity. And that is why on this channel, I have been emphasizing on vocational opportunity as an opportunity for you to duck back to Europe. I mean, on this channel, that is, that is majorly what I've been talking about. Yeah, because I believe in hate that by the time you have an opportunity that uh, that is very cheap or that does not even require you to pay tuition fee and such that the package is such that by the time you are done it promises it promises an exciting opportunity towards job opportunity towards securing a job i mean what 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 else are you looking for so it is better in my own opinion in my own opinion it is better to traditional schooling opportunity where you go for MSc, BSc and the likes, okay? So I believe in vocational opportunity on this channel and that is why most of the videos that I've been doing on this channel are channeled towards vocational opportunities to Europe and I have another exciting news to everybody again today. Yes, very cheap and exciting opportunity to Europe. Now, if you recap, on uh, I mean on 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 vocational opportunity I've talked about to Portugal I've talked about to Austria I've talked about to Malta to Italy and to Finland <clears throat> yes the one I want to talk about today is like an uh it's like an embodiment of all the opportunities that you can either go to Austria for go to UK I'm uh, sorry go to Finland for go to uh, Portugal for because this particular school that I want to talk about has different school engineering uh, you want to learn cyber security or any it related skill you want to learn business babin yes babin <laughs> oh god you want to learn i mean you want to come and learn how to how to be a barber you want to come and learn how to sew you want to come and learn how to be an entrepreneur you want to come and learn how to be uh, <clears throat> uh, an accounting uh, an accounting tech i mean when i saw some of these courses and i was like wow this is an this is an embodiment of all the courses that I've been talking about on, I mean, on different countries that each of the countries like Portugal and the likes that they have been offering separately. They have them as a vocational school. I mean, each of the, each of the courses are embedded in their own faculty or in their own school. So I'll be showing to you some of these courses. Now, the beauty of it again about this school is that uh, they have about five campuses. So which means at the end of the day, you will be the one to decide your lifestyle in the country that you are going to. And yes, the country is USA. This vocational school is in USA and it has five different campuses that you can decide to choose or that you can decide to do your program in, depending on the type of course that you want to go for. If you want to go for nursing, yes. If you want to go for nursing, you want to go for a lab technician, you want to go for cyber security, IT related skills. I will show to you some of these courses, IT related skills. You want to go and learn barbing, you want to go and learn sewing, you want to go and learn, I mean, different things. You want to go and learn tourism management, how to run a business, among other things. They have them in different schools for one year durations. 
you want to just get a diploma for one year, two years, you want to do it just for six months or thereabout, and the tuition fee, wow, is so cheap that it has, you know, instrumental payment. It is so cheap. It is, it is, it is more like the way, the, the way the Portugal vocational school run their own. It is so cheap and affordable to everyone. Yes. And apart from the tuition fee that is so cheap, they also have scholarship opportunity for everyone that you can apply for. The minute you apply for admission and they have confirmed your place that you have been given admission, there is a website particularly designed for if you want to apply for scholarship. And if you are lucky enough, they will be responsible for your tuition fee, accommodation, stipend. Yes, they will also be giving you stipend fee and pocket money. Yes, pocket money. These are, these are some of the packages or the benefits that the scholarship entails. Okay, so I am very excited about this opportunity because I don't want, I mean, it's, it's an embodiment of all the different vocational opportunities that I've talked about on, I mean, with different countries. But this particular school in USA has all the different courses that you can, you know, that you can want to study. And you can also move with your family. Yes, that is beauty of it. You can also move with your family as long as you have enough financial uh, uh, proof to show that you're able to take care of them. You can also move with your family on this vocational opportunity to USA. Yes. So, yes, I'm very excited. As you can see already, I'm very excited about it. When I found it out and I was like, wow, this is an embodiment of all the vocational schools. So I said, okay, let me just wait and see how it looks. And the minimum requirement, before I forget, is what your heck, O level. Okay, but of course, if you have BSc or HND, you can also use it to apply. But the minimum requirement is your O level. So, one year diploma, two years diploma, depending on the type of course that you want to go for on your or your plan. That's what we determine what kind of qualification you are going to use to. And of course, all those uh, going to uh, embassy to verify and all of those things to legalize, it's not there. Just at least with Ministry of Education and Ministry of Foreign Affairs stamp on your O level. You are good to go to apply for this vocational school that I'm going to be talking about today. And what is the name of the vocational school? The name of the vocational school is Augusta Technical College. Yes, Augusta Technical College. So let me quickly uh, show you some of this opportunity and then you can latch into it and you can apply. And the application fee, yes, before I forget, the uh the application is going to be open from April 1st, which is tomorrow. Yes, the application is going to be open from tomorrow. Okay. Now, this is the name of the school, Augusta Technical College. Okay. So let's quickly look at some of the opportunities that you can actually, you know, study there. For for instance, we have School of Arts and Sciences, School of Businesses, okay, and then we have um uh, School of Cyber and Design Media, which is the IT-related uh, uh, skills that you may want to gather. Then we have School of Health Sciences, Nursing, Social Care, Healthcare, and all of those guys. I'll show you some of some few of them. And then we have um, School of Public and Professional Services, like uh, uh, Baba. You want to learn M Ed dressing. You want to learn how to sew. You want to learn, you know, different related. Oh God, these are. These are exciting courses that they, that they offer in this school. And then engineering department, you want to learn how to be a mechanics, an engineer, an electrician, among other, among other skills that they offer here, okay? These are the schools. Now, let's quickly check some few of them, okay? Let's quickly check. Now, this is a School of Public and Professional Service where you can learn barbering. For instance, see, this is bar <coughs> barbering. We call it barbering, but, you know, they mean barber. So uh, it also have, um, uh, for instance, uh, Barbering Certificate 1, Diploma, Barbering Certificate 2, Technical Certificate of Credit, okay? So you have uh, uh, Barbering for Cosmetologist, Basic Post Certification, Catering Specialist, those are in the Catering, Cosmetology, Criminal Justice Department, Criminal Justice Technology, Culinary Heart for Food, you know, those that are in the food uh, um, um, department that, you know, want to learn how to make food and all of those guys, cakes and the likes, early childhood care. And those are some of the courses that you can, aim. there are many there, okay? Air, air designer, you know, those are make air. Oh God, oh God, I'm so excited about this already. So you want to learn how to make air. So this is an opportunity for you to relocate to USA. Eh? Are you with me? Cook and the likes, saloon, spa, support specialist, okay? That is for this school, okay? Now let's quickly check another school. 
okay, School of Health Sciences, those that are in the medical space, okay, Health Sciences, these are not the opportunity that you can expect to, uh, you know, uh, get a cardiovascular technology, uh, computer tomography specialist, dental assisting, diagnostic medical sonography, healthcare assistant, okay, medical assisting, you want to nurse aid, nursing, okay, uh, occupational therapy assistant, pharma, pharmacy technology, and a bunch of them. They are very many there. Okay, they are very, I won't be able to give you details about all of them, but I'm very excited about some of the things I'm seeing already. Now, let's quickly check another school. Okay, let's quickly check another school. For instance, let's check um, this school. This uh, school of cyber, uh, cyber and design media, which is for the IT guys. Oh, the IT people. Eh? I'm also in the IT, so I, I love. A plus certification and Microsoft client advertising layout specialist, Android mobile programming. That is one of the course. Animated short film production, C plus C plus plus programmer, C uh, C uh, C programmer, C hashtag programmer, Cisco certified cyber ops associate, Cisco network specialist, cloud computing and solution, computer programming, computer support specialist, cyber crime specialist, cyber security. Oh boy, oh boy as in the Java programmer, junior web developer, name it, there are many there, okay? There are many there, school of business, and if you're in the school of business, you can go for accounting, you know, accounting, accounting, cyber security, administrative, and a host of them. There are many, so you can do your extensive research to see which of the course that you want to go for, and like I said, minimum requirement is your YAG, but of course, if you already have HND, OND, or BSc, you can also use it to apply for this admission, okay? I will show you some of the application procedure in details, okay? Now, because I don't want to waste your time, I will drop the link on my on my on the video description so that you can do extensive research about them. And if you need a one on one uh, coaching, you can subscribe for a paid consultation. All right. So now, once you submit your applications, they said that scholarship is available for everybody, regardless of the course that you want to go for. Now, when you, once, once you submit your application, you can apply for Augusta Technical College uh, Award Spring Scholarship. Okay, you can have, apply for that. And then they have details of, I mean, once you click on apply for scholarship, you will be able to register. And then it will ask for some of the details of the program that you're going for and all of those things. I don't want to bore you about this, but of course, it's, it's there for you to to go through, but now let's just let let let's just assume, assume that you are not giving scholarship. Now, what about the tuition for those that are not giving scholarship? Let's go for the tuition. Yes. Now, this is the tuition that you can expect to pay. So, okay. Now, depending on the type of course or the program or, or the year, you know, the duration of the program that you want to go for, the tuition is as low as six hundred and eleven dollar. See it here. Okay, they once you confirm your place, okay, I mean just more more or less like an enrollment, which once they've given you admission, you are expected to pay this hundred dollar. That is the lowest. Now, then uh, fee dues at registration. So, which means uh, uh, during or after you you, you confirm enrollment, you've started your program during the semester, you are expected to pay the tuition fee of five hundred and eleven euro, which makes the total to be six hundred and eleven. Dollar now, sorry, dollar, it's not euro. Dollar now, that is the lowest, the highest, depending on the regardless of the cost that you want to do in that school. The highest tuition fee that you can expect to pay is this $2,011. $2,011. So, um, I mean, it, you can, you, depending on how you want to do it, I mean, fee dues at registration. Okay, this is the tuition itself. Okay, this is the tuition itself, one five. The highest tuition itself is one five, okay? And this is what you are expected to pay after, of course, during uh, the semester when you confirm your place and you started taking your courses and then uh, you started going to classes and all of those things. So this is what you are expected to pay. So the lowest tuition that you can expect to pay, depending on the type of course that you go for, is this $611. And the highest is $2,011. So what are you waiting for? Okay. And I'm sure by the time you even speak with the school management, you can even, oh, you can also bargain with some, uh, what is, what is it called? Uh, instrumental payment. And I'm, I'm sure they, 
they, they, they, they, they, are very, they, are, they are very open to that extent. Most of these vocational schools, they are very open once you've been able to give them a convincing reason why you should be considered for, you know, uh, uh, instrumental payment. They will, they will oblige you, okay? So that is that about uh, the tuition fee. So I will, um, I will, I'll be dropping now. What I want to show, yeah. And then the different campuses that you can want to go for with it. They have uh, uh, Augusta, Grovetown, Somerville, Thompson, and Waynesboro. Okay, different uh, cities in USA. You can, you know, uh, 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 I mean, go study depending on the course that you want to go for. So different cities. So which helps you to be able to choose your lifestyle and be able to stay within your budget. Okay, so that you don't, if you go to a city that is very, you know, that is very bubbling, you can expect that the rent and the likes, feeling and the likes might be expensive there. But if you go to a city where, man, it is just you and your family, you and yourself alone, you are enjoying yourself till you're done with the program, then you can establish yourself and try to look for uh, opportunities. So this is how to apply. First, you have to first of all register. They send you a link to your email, then you use the link to create a password. And I'm not going to, I will not do all of that. I've already done so that. I'm so then you go to the application directly. So I have already done all of that. I've registered and I've confirmed the link, as, you know, activated my account. So this is the how the application looks like, okay? I'll quickly run through with you within two minutes or one minute. Now, your name, your name, you know, middle name, last name, and all of those things, yeah, then your gender, your sex, you select, your date of birth, you select. Then are you a US citizen? Do you have a... Permanent resident, you are you a refugee, asylum seeker, or anything, whatever, whatsoever. Of course, if you are an international applicant coming and you need visa to enter USA, you have to choose not a US citizen. Okay. Then you put your date, uh, country of birth, which is, you know, for instance, I'm Nigeria, so I choose Nigeria. Are you Hispanic or Latino? If you are, you have to choose yes, but I am not, so I chose no. Then when you chose no, it was now ask you what type of race are you, then you put your race, black or African American. Okay, then you scroll down again, uh, country of citizenship, Nigeria, what is your current visa status? So there are different type of visa status in USA, but because you will be coming into, uh, except of course, if you already have a visa status to USA. So you will be coming in, so you have to go for order, no status, okay? So when you go for order, no status, so do you intend to switch your visa type now? So and um, if you go for yes, if we ask you what your current visa status is, so it is better you go for no, so that you will now be, I mean, you'll be able to move to the next page, okay? So please enter a SSN or team number, which is your tax number. So this tax number here is optional, you know, I don't know for other country, but Nigeria, we don't, I don't think we have a tax number in that country. So, but for your country, if you have a tax number for your country, you can put it there. So the essence is for, if they want to be, you know, uh, I mean, like the tax deductible for any payment of school fees and all of those things to your country. And, and I think I think that's what it's meant for. But it's not, it's not compulsory, so you can skip it. Then mailing address, you put your details, address, and all of those things here. These are simple things, your cell phone number. Okay, you put them there here. Okay, they say you should choose the one that best applies to you. This will assist admission in determining your residency. So I am under 24 old and my parent guardian. So depending on your own, but I think the best one will be here. I am under 24 years old and no one claimed on me or on their most recent tax return. So as an international speaker, or sorry, as an international applicant, the best option will be for you to go for the second or the third option here. <clears throat> military status. Do you have any military status? If I am not active duty or depending on, uh, so that, is, that would be the best option for you. Do, did your father graduate from college? Course, you know the answer to that. Mother graduated from college, you know the answer to that. Have you previously earned any college credit? So meaning if you have studied before, you have a way in UHND or BSc, you know, you have to choose that option there. Yeah, whatever option that you choose to determine what to pops up next. Okay. Have you attended any other post secondary school? So meaning if you if, apart from uh, O level, do you have any other post secondary school qualification. If you say you do, then it will ask for the details of that post secondary school qualification. So, and then, so then you continue high school <coughs> information. With high school is your, you know, secondary school details there. So, if you if you search your secondary school here, if it is not there, it says that you should go for unknown high school so that you'll be able to enter the details manually. Okay, great. So, the state, the country, and everything. You start. You select them. High school graduate or high school equivalents awarded. Okay, you know, you go for them. Graduation dates, the dates that you 
you know, got your OND, sorry, OND done now, you know, depending on what you are using to apply. So if you are using O level to apply, the date you got your O level, but HND and DSC, if you are using that to apply, you put the date you got that there, okay? So college information, if you have, you know, post secondary school information, which is for your college. So if you search for the name of your school, if it's not there, go for unknown school so that you'll be able to select them. I mean, you'll be able to write them manually, okay? And then degree credential end and every other thing, you put it there. So the date you completed, the date you started, the date, the date you completed it. And if you have any other information you want to add, you put it there. Any other college information you want to add, you put it there, okay? So emergency contact, you know, if you have any emergency contact, you put it there. Application details. So, and then if you have one, so of course there are some courses that allow you to, that allow them to waive the 25 euro application fee. There's not euro, $25 application fee. So there's some courses that waive application fee, but if you're, if you're, you have to study which course you want to apply for and then see if application fee is waived for that course. So that is what this is talking about here. So for each of the course that waived application fee, they will give you a code that you have to put in here. So if you don't have any code, okay, then you can move on, continue, then next steps, and then uh, please confirm your birth, uh, birth date is correct. Please confirm your social security. So once you've, you know, put every other information, once you get to this place, now you reach the end of the admission application on the next page, you should see 99%. So if you have filled everything completely, when you click on review application, you will see 99% completely. But if you don't see 99% complete, that means there are some steps that are missing. So you have to go back to go correct them. But if you see 99% complete, you'll be able to move to the next phase, which will now send you some you know, further instructions on how to pay application fee of 25 euro. And then they'll be able to review your application. Like I said, the admission starts from um, uh, tomorrow, April 1st. And they have uh, intake for uh, uh, May, if you want to start in May, uh, but you know, looking at uh, African or international applicants, May might not be an option. So the August, the fall academic year, which is August, might be the best option for you. So that you know, visa processing, admission processing, document processing, and all of those things, you will have time to be able to do it. So yes, this is Augusta Technical College. Okay, the tuition fee is cheap. They have visa sponsorship opportunity. The minimum requirement that you can use to apply is your O level, yes, your WAHEC that you can use to apply and with Ministry of Education and Ministry of Foreign Affairs in your country stamp on it, you are good to go to use this to apply. Okay, so this is the opportunity that I wanted to bring to everybody again. It is a, it is a, it is a very, very uh, great opportunity, a great opportunity for everyone to, to be able to apply, to be able to latch into this opportunity. Every every information that I hear, I mean, that there is no course that you can ever think of applying or thinking about. Almost all profession they have the course available that you can uh, that you can apply to medical line, business line, IT line, you know, uh, you know, professional line like air making, air dressing, engineering. So they have everything. So what will be your excuse this year not to tap back to USA? this year. Thank you very, very much. Of course, this is, if you have any questions, any comments, you can drop them on our comment session. Thank you very, very much. This is Jaguar with your day. Like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we bring this kind of opportunity again, you will be the first person to get notification. Don't forget more and more vocational opportunities like this as we see them and we see that it's very cheap and affordable, okay, or in fact, there are, if there's no school tuition fee required at all, these are the kind of thing we talked about on this channel so that you'll be able to achieve an affordable relocation plan this year. This is Kappa with the Addis once again. Thank you very, very much for listening and watching once again. Bye-bye for now.